Hello everyone, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me and uh, welcome everyone. I have a little share of little golden books to share with you today or to show you today. I uh, was listing a little golden book yesterday and <clears throat> I said, let me see. You know, I wanted to look at my personal collection for a minute because the one I was listing looked like one I would really like to keep. <laughs> it's so hard to decide sometimes, but um, yeah, I so I started looking at my, my own personal collection of little golden books and I discovered I have some duplicates. So I just kind of revamped my plan there and besides listing the one that I was listing, I pulled out some duplicates from my own personal collection. So I wanted to show you because I put them all in one listing. I thought maybe that would be the easiest way because it takes so long to take not so long, but you know, longer to take 10 pictures of each one or even four or five pictures of each one and do a separate listing. So I said, well, let me just see how this works. If it doesn't work, I'll, you know, re redo my listing and list them, list them separately. But if I can do it like this, it would really help me to be able to list things, um, more things because I have a lot of things to list and I don't have a lot of time. So anyway, I thought I'd just show you these and then I will put this video I'll link this video to the listing and then whoever wants to see the books in more detail can do it. So let's just get started. Let's see. I'll put this over here and then we'll look at it and I'll put the, we'll, we all get an assembly line going here. So this is the Little Mermaid. These are all in really good shape for, um, you know, they're all vintage, but they're all in really good shape. And I'm just going to show you the front and back. See, this has the pink on the back, really pretty. Little Mermaid. A lot of these are Disney. Um, I, and right now I've pulled some out of, uh, the ones I've brought home, pulled some out of my personal collections. So now they're all mixed up and I don't know which is which, but these are definitely the ones that, um, you know, that I'm trying to, that I have in my listing. So that is the point. This, um, this one is 19, 10, 1995, I believe. And I have the, the um, in the listing, I have the uh, name of the book, you know, and the year, and in the drop down, how many I have. Like, most of them, I only have one, but there's a jungle book I have two of, and uh, in my, I just listed some Nancy Drew books, too, and one of those I have two of, too. So, just FYI, I'll do a separate video on the Nancy Drew books, but um, this is Little Mermaid. You can see it's like in per perfect condition, perfect um, you know, I don't, I mean, the cover has a little wear, you see the corner, you know, it's not like brand new out of the store, but you know, it's pretty much, uh, almost brand new, I would say. This one too has a little wear right here. I've been dyeing papers today. If you see, see any colors on my hands, I've washed my hands several times, but <laughs> it's still some on there. Anyway, this one, this one's yellow on the back. And this is the hymn, little golden book of, of hymns. You can see it's in perfect condition. I think I just showed this one the other day. I just brought this one home. I remember that and I said, say, you know, see it's all music, hymns, you know, music and, uh, and um, copyright 1985 on this one. That's what it says anyway. Uh, I don't see any room and numerals to differ from that. So, but uh, you can take that for what it's worth <laughs> as far as the copyright. Sometimes it is hard to tell on these. But uh, Disney's Pocahontas. And I'll point out any writing or tears. Like, let's see, is this a tear? There's a tear right here. And we can see it looks, other than that, this one is a little, what is it? Ten, well, this one's 1995, so. But otherwise, there's no writing in here. And no other tears that I can see. A uh, little wear right here. See the little paper starting to just kind of folded down. I just pushed it back up. It could be glued back down there. But oh, I like the I like the pink on the back. That's pretty. I wonder if the Disney's are all pink. Let's see. This is a Disney. Yep, that's pink too. Hmm. Interesting. I don't. I never noticed that before. As far as maybe the Disney's are all pink. Maybe someone knows and they can tell me in the comments. But anyway, good condition on that one. This is the Jungle Book. This is the one I have two of. Here's the other one right here. 
Yeah, and I have another one in my personal stash. That's when I was discovered when I was going through them yesterday. I think I had brought one home, brought one home, and I think I had two in my own personal collection. So, not in my stash, in my collection that I'm keeping for myself. This is 1995. Nice condition. Uh, I don't see any rips or writing in this one. Just regular kind of wear and tear, like that corner's folded down there. <clears throat> You know, a little bit of wear right there, but, you know, that's really nothing to speak of. Uh, this one is pretty perfect. Pink on the back. These are both the same year. <clears throat> this one has something right there that maybe can be washed off. I'm not sure. I didn't try to wash that off. In 1995, again, all kind of new looking. No writing or tears. This is uh, my little golden book about God. This one's yellow on the back. And this is the one that is the illustrations or pictures are by Eloise Wilkin. And we love her. We, I love all the illust illustrations to tell you, tell you the truth. But um, this one is, she is a very talented artist. Um, this one's 1990, I believe. XC, I believe that's 1990. And here's the pictures, really beautiful in here. They are very beautiful pictures in here. Look at this even, right here. No writing, oh, there is some writing right here. I scribbled out name. I didn't scribble that out myself or anything. That's how it was when I got it. Uh, so, and then we have Disney's Dumbo. This is really cute. I, I brought this home from the thrift store recently and I didn't show it to you yet either um, I have a stack that I haven't shown you yet <laughs> so I'm like I think I needed one more to make 10 so I could have 10 books in my listing and take up all 10 pictures and I pulled this out of a stack that I have not shown you yet I have some little golden books that I haven't shown you believe it or not anyway Disney 89 cents so this one must be a little older it does have a barcode green on the back no writing here. Let's see. The year. Copyright is 19, uh, 1981. 47th printing. I learned today how to tell if it's a first edition. I did do research on all the books I listed. I do research on all the books I list, but um, I wanted to find out about, learn about how to tell if a little golden book is a first edition. And it said... The way you tell, and I don't know if this one has it, this one doesn't have it, but some of them have um, down here under the copyright information, they have letters like it'll be A, B, C, D, E, F, or E, F, G, H, I, J, something like that. So if it has an A, A, if the letters that you see start with an A, that's the first edition. If it starts with an E, that would be probably like a fifth edition, something like that. So. I don't have any with an A so far. I haven't seen an A, so I don't have any first editions, so they're not particularly valuable, but they are worth something. <laughs> they are worth something, but not super valuable. Okay, this is 101 Dalmatians, another Disney book. This one's one I have duplicate in my collection. I remember, like, why do I have more than one of these? Because I was trying to just collect one for myself, and then there I go. Uh, but 1991 on this one. No writing here. Uh, no tears. But I'm just kind of flipping fast so you can see they're in good condition. No writing back there. Pink on the back and that's another Disney. Where I think we're on a roll here with the pink. Maybe we're, uh, we've learned something else today that Disney, the Disney ones have pink on the back. That's what I'm, what, what I think, uh might be possible um this one is mickey and the beanstalk disney 1993 it looks like 1993 this one doesn't have if i see one with the letters i'll show you because i did have one with the letters in here but i just thought of that halfway through uh telling you what i learned today um so no writing or tears in here Alice in Wonderland, Disney, again. Is it pink? It is. 
Oh, this one has a little sticker there, a little name and address sticker. Oh, and a little happy face sticker. I didn't see that before. I don't really tear things off like that. If somebody buys this and they want to try to tear it off, that is fine. I just don't do it because I don't want to tear any of this, you know, backing off here. So, let's see, there's a little something there, like discoloration. The corners are worn, so this must be a little older on this one. Let's see, 1992. There's another sticker and a rubber stamping right here. Somebody's, I don't know what, it's somebody's name and address. Not sure. It's kind of faded, but there's a, there is a stamp. 50, there's a 50 there. Looks like a rubber stamp. Not really damaged or anything, just I'm just pointing out what I see. Uh, the, page, the pages look good. I think I just saw some writing. Oh no, that's part of the picture. That's some wires in the picture. It looked like writing. But no, this looks good. The pages are starting to brown there, even though it's 1992. So, yeah. It, it didn't have the letters either, did it? Let me see. No, it, it didn't have the letters I was talking about. The Night Before Christmas, this is um, not a Disney, of course, and it's yellow on the back. And here you go. Inside is nice and clean. Back's nice and clean, and the pages look like they're nice and clean. And uh, this could be picked up for next Christmas, ready to go to make a journal or for reading to your children. <laughs> I have one in my collection already, so... In fact, there's two different versions of this one with two different pictures. I think I have this one, and I was going to look to see if I have the other one so I could keep it in my collection, too. But, uh, let's see, this one did not have the letters I was talking about. No. Which one was it? We looked at the last few here. Let me see if I can find the letters real quick so we can all learn it together. Maybe y'all already knew about it, but I did not. I learned it today because I didn't want to, you know, sell a very valuable one. You know, I would like to, if it was really valuable, either if I sell it, I'd like to ask a, an appropriate price or keep it, you know. Uh, you know, these have it. I know I saw one with it, though. Here it is. The Hems one has it. See right here? Let me hold it up close to the camera. See this E, F, G, H, I, J? See the E, mean, I think that means it's a fifth edition. And if it started with an A, that would be a first edition. So it's right here underneath the copyright, right there. Those le those capital letters right there. Uh, let me make sure it's focusing. Hopefully it is. But that's what I was talking about. So those are in my, um, in my shop. I'm going to come back with a video on sh and show you. I did the same thing with some Nancy Drew books I just brought home. And so I'll bring, I'll come back with a separate video for those. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that little collection and I'll see you next time. Happy thrifting and happy crafting.